Okay, so I guess the most debated question, I would say, is um, the issue of cayenne mm -hmm. pepper. I have heard other doctors say that it's just like a, another chili. It raises the temperature of the stomach, uh, so it must be bad for you. So what are your thoughts on um, cayenne pepper? And if it's so good for us, how do we make sure that we buy the real cayenne and that it's not um, tempered with? Okay, it's a good question. Now, I have a book here. I think everyone knows the book, Back to Eden mm -hmm. by Jethro Kloss. He devotes half a page to every herb but not cane pepper. He devotes 10 pages to cane pepper. It's one of the most remarkable herbs that we have. And a lot of people get confused because Ellen White states that we shouldn't be eating spicy foods or stimulating foods. And it is true that cane pepper is a heating herb. Leviticus 1711 states that the life of the flesh is in the blood. So anything that moves blood and moves blood a little bit faster to an area is going to increase the healing. And that's what cane pepper does. It is not a nervous system stimulant like caffeine, alcohol, nicotine. It is a blood stimulant. In fact, it is probably the one and only or the major blood stimulant. And so anywhere that cane pepper is applied, um, will increase healing to that area. And you say the stomach. Well, if someone's got low hydrochloric acid and they need to boost it, cane pepper is a wonderful booster of hydrochloric acid. And so it is not a bad thing that it heats the stomach. It is actually a good thing because it increases digestion. And it really is a myth too much hydrochloric acid. I've, I've never met anyone with too much hydrochloric acid. Dogs have 10 times the hydrochloric acid that we do. And that's why they can eat rotten food and it not kill them. True. So cane pepper. I'd like to read you a little bit from Jethro Kloss. Some of the botanical names. It's, uh, its botanical name is capsicum anum. And the common name is cane pepper. Red pepper, capsicum, Spanish pepper, bird pepper, pod pepper, African pepper, um, African red pepper. So there's quite a few names for it. And a lot of people say, well, what's the distinction between uh, cayenne and chili? Mm -hmm. In some areas, it's not easy to, um, to see the distinction. But the chili comes from the chili family and the cane comes from the capsicum family. So there's a little bit of a difference there. So let me read this again, or a little bit more. It is a pungent stimulant, but as I said, not a, not a nervous system stimulant. It's a tonic. Mm -hmm. It's one of the most wonderful herb medicines that we have, says Jethro Kloss. We do wonderful things with it. We're able to do it with no other herb. And in another book, it's called Curing with Cayenne by Sam Beiser. That's B-I-S-E-R. And I think you can get that as an e-book. He says, you put cane pepper with any other herb and it'll increase that, the uh, action of those, uh, that other herb. So cane pepper can be used internally. So let's start. It can be used to relieve a sore throat. Yes, it might tingle at first, but after the tingle has subsided, the sore throat will have eased. It can be used in the stomach to uh, help someone with nausea. It can also uh, boost hydrochloric acid, which we just talked about. Mm -hmm. When it gets into the blood, it thins the blood. So it's one of the best blood thinners. It not only thins the blood, but it causes... Um, a dilation or an opening of all the capillaries. It also strengthens the arterial walls. So it's a remarkable herb and an excellent herb to use for anyone with heart problems. It can be used externally and externally it can be used wherever you want to increase blood supply to the area. So we've seen people who've lost feeling in their feet, peripheral neuropathy, uh, apply cane compressors 
to the bottom of their feet and by morning they're starting to feel pins and needles. People that have chronically cold feet where they mm -hmm. came compress overnight and find that by morning their feet are starting to warm. So what you've got to remember is what does Cain do? It moves blood. It stimulates blood. So when you see stimulant, and I think that's what's put a lot of people off. Mm. They're, they're likening it to uh, to stimulants like uh, caffeine. So mm -hmm. there's the same pepper. It's a it's a remarkable herb. Yes, and I can testify as well that um, my mum has high blood pressure, and um, I think for a couple of years I tried to tell her about cayenne pepper, and she also has some stomach issues. So she was saying or uh, maybe I would have given it a try, but what about my stomach? And I said, it's not going to hurt you. No. So, yeah, so no, maybe that, a couple of years. That, that is true. The, um, there's a couple of doctors quoted in that 10 pages from Back to Eden, and one doctor says it's impossible to abuse cane pepper, mm -hmm. and the other doctor says it will never cause a lesion. That means it will never burn. It will just heal. Mm -hmm. And yeah, um, after actually, I think a couple of years even, she used cayenne and I said, put it under your tongue when your blood pressure goes up really high. And she did that and she said, wow, it actually brought my blood pressure down. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. And she also said, um, my stomach doesn't hurt because of it. She said, even grapefruit hurts my stomach, but not cayenne. Yeah. So yeah. that's also, um, great illustrations of finding out for yourself, trying it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Very good. I have the book as well, um, Back to Eden by Jethro Kloss. I yeah. found it, again, amazing. So what about um, <clears throat> how do we make sure that we find the real cayenne, Barbara? Because I, I find that you don't really see cayenne pepper under that um, botanical name, capsicum annum. Is that something we should be looking for? or? Well, I, I think that uh, the best place to buy cayenne pepper is from a herb company. Mm -hmm. And it should be a lovely bright red colour. If you buy cayenne pepper and it's a brown colour, that indicates it's quite old. Mm. Wow. Okay, very good. 